Hi, this is Vicki, Condi Systems Technical Support, and today I want to show you how to use some tools in Corel, particularly the uh, transparency and the invert tool. Just playing around, um, I find this tool handy when I'm doing graphic design and I'm trying to incorporate an image. Um, basically, I want to invert it. I want to use it as um, not so much as a solid, uh, but a uh, maybe an outline and um, I have a simple little graphic here that I'd like to demonstrate with. Um, what we're going to do is go from this to this and I'm going to show you how using your transparency tool and your um, invert tool. So um, first off you want to select the image and then we're going to uh, click on the transparency and we're going to go from uh, once we click on the transparency tool, our, our little menu up here is basically uh, going to show us uh, some some menus that are are unique to this tool. So w once you click on anything, you can see that this menu box up here will change based on the tool you're clicking on. It has special little effects that you can use. So we'll go back to the transparency. And now um, with this selected, you can see my little box around it. I can come down here and go uniform and what that does is uh, create a watermark and now uh, to um, uh, kind of more critique this a little more I still have some tools up here I can play around with I'm just going to show you how to use this image and go and invert it so that uh, it's like a um, uh, the outline stands out the background kind of dissipates and then we can use our transparency to to brighten it or lighten it so now that I have uh, lightened the background I can use this tool here as a um, percentage wise how, how light I want it versus how dark and I'm going to keep it about right here for now and now I want to come down and click the invert tool and as you can see I've already got an image that's very similar to this and now using my transparency tool I can brighten it or lighten it and I, I can use this here to do that also and that helps me to make it darker or lighter and this is a neat little tool for uh, graphic design people people you know using images and trying to get a different effect out of it uh, this is a great tool to do that now uh, once I've done that I can also create a transparency by dragging left clicking and dragging my line I also have another video on just using the transparency tool uh, and that's creating this line and uh, creating different effects light lightness and darkness with this line um, so look for that video too but for this video for this particular instruction I want to show you how to use the invert and create a outline by inverting a a particular image so that you can um, place it in a graphic or do something creative with it again using this transparency I can go from light to dark sliding this up or down will also affect also if I just move it around this way I get different effects so as you can see this is how this works okay so uh, we're gonna kinda move this out of the way delete that and Again, we can just kind of get rid of it and to go back to what we had I do a control Z and now I'm going to minimize it and there I have uh, my image as I showed you here and those are little tools you can play around in in Corel draw I always like to do videos that uh, show people a little bit about the tools and maybe be helpful to those who are interested in learning a little bit about Corel draw to share a little knowledge that I have. If you have any ideas on videos be happy to contact me here. My name is Vicki and I'm in the tech support department here at Condi Systems. I hope that this video has helped. Thank you for your time.